This project uses PMC Sheet, which is an interesting um, product because it comes in a sheet form that feels very much like fabric or paper, and it stays very flexible and it doesn't dry out very quickly. And so you can fold this or cut this and treat it just like you would paper, um, use paper punches or scissors on it. And we're going to be making a Celtic knot necklace that has a crisp knot design cut out of the PMC sheet. And this is actually PMC plus sheet. So the clay you want to use this with is PMC plus because it will share the same shrinkage rate and the same firing temperatures as PMC plus. So to start this project, I have photocopied or used on a scanner to make some high contrast designs. And these are very simple graphic designs, some Celtic knots that I want to replicate on the paper. And remember that the clay and the paper will shrink slightly, so make sure to account that this will be a little smaller on your finished project. And to transfer the design onto the paper, I'm going to cut out my square and use a very soft sketching pencil to trace around the lines. And just trace around each of these lines like so. And you don't have to be too careful because you can fix it when you cut it and keep going until you've traced the entire design. And then to transfer this, you simply turn it over, put it on a corner of your paper or your, or your PMC sheet and use your finger. And then these very tiny cuticle scissors, pierce the sheet with the scissors and just simply cut out the shape of the knot. And this just cuts really easily. And if you have an area you need to get into, sometimes I'll go across and then I'll go in like this and then make a little snip. And this is for people who really enjoy little fine details and fine work. It's a fun skill. And you just poke it in, cut out each little area. Keep working on that until you get the entire piece cut out. And it'll look like this and it's very flexible. And that's ready to apply to our background piece. So you can set that aside. You want to stay simple on this unless you want to be cutting a lot of little, don't, don't choose a lace pattern or anything. <laughs> unless you're really patient, and then you can do that. Now for the background piece, I'm just going to pinch off a piece of PMC Plus, put it on my board, my work surface, wrap the rest back up to keep it moist. And I want a nice level background, so I'm using playing cards, um, four cards on each side, so that I can roll a nice even sheet that's four cards thick for the background. And use your roller and just roll out a square that's going to fit the one that you just cut out. And just like any other type of metal clay, use water to attach. And I just use my finger and a little bit of water. And place the sheet directly on top of your surface there and just use your finger to pat it down. And it's really that simple. And then I'm going to use a blade to cut the edges. Whoops, I've got a little shift there. There, you can move it around, it's that flexible. I'll just put it right on top so I know how big to cut the square here. And you just cut each side. And now I'm not worried about my edges being too even because I can refine those after it's dried and ready to fire. So just take your excess and wrap it back up. And use a needle tool right now to make two holes for hanging in the top. And I just move the needle tool around in a circular motion like this to make holes. And these are guide holes for now. I'm going to refine these as it dries. I don't need to make them the full size of the jump ring. And then you simply let this dry until it is bone dry, ready to go in the kiln. Well, actually, it could be leather hard. You don't need to let it dry completely. But when it's leather hard and you're able to handle it and pick it up, you can refine the edges with a nail file and smooth them out and get it ready to fire. And then it's ready to fire at any temperature that PMC Plus can be fired at up to 1,650 degrees Fahrenheit.